statements about him from going public. Well, now a former Trump campaign official is suing to nullify those agreements, arguing that they penalize employees who have legitimate workplace grievances. Joining us now is Jessica Denson. She is the former Trump campaign official bringing this class action suit. Jessica, it is great to have you here. Thank Let's you. start at the beginning. In August of 2018, you were hired by the Trump campaign. 2016. That's right. Sorry. 2016 as a phone bank administrator and were quickly promoted to Hispanic engagement director on the campaign. That's correct. Then what happened? Then I was uh, able to work for a brief time, um, really, with a beautiful engagement effort into uh, welcoming people into this campaign that had not previously um, been engaged with or been represented properly in the media as being supporters of the campaign. But after a short time, yes, you say that you became the subject of bullying, harassment, sexual discrimination. Can you describe some of those? Terms? Yes, I was um, subjected to a reign of terror by the man who hired me, a man by the name of Camilo Sandoval, who is currently still at the Veterans Affairs uh, Department. Um, he could not stand that a woman who he had hired essentially to be a prop in his data department got a meaningful promotion and was demonstrating her value. And he launched an all-out assault on my character. He tried to steal my personal laptop. He tried to engage other staffers in th this theft and hacking of my devices. I went to the campaign thinking that they would support and protect me. And instead, the chief information officer, Jeff DeWitt, and the human resources director, Lucia Castellano, completely retaliated against me, took away all the work I was doing, banned me from Trump Tower, told people to keep me away from Donald Trump and ultimately prevented me from being able to continue any kind of career or opportunity to serve in the administration. And as if all of that is not bad enough, when you tried to file a lawsuit because all of that is illegal, then what happened? What happened was uh, less than a month after I filed my lawsuit in November of 2017, before I even served papers on the campaign, on Christmas Eve, they sent me an arbitration demand for $1.5 million, claiming that by the mere act of asserting my statutory rights in state court, I had violated their NDA, and that I should submit to this arbitration in secret instead of pursuing my claims in court. We've seen this before, obviously, in other high-profile cases. NDAs do not prevent people from reporting crimes. But somehow they are used um, to threaten people and to scare them from reporting crimes. So explain, why did you sign an NDA? When did you have to sign it? What did they tell you about the justification for why working for a campaign you were going to have to sign it? They basically presented it to me immediately. Camilo Sandoval did the day I was uh, offered the job and said, please sign and return this NDA ASAP. Um, I was of the mind at the time, very ignorantly and blindly, that... Donald Trump was someone who was under attack by everyone, and why shouldn't I, like all the other supporters, be um, eager and anxious to protect him from all of the attacks? And so I viewed it through that um, very mistaken and ignorant lens, and I signed it thinking that he was going to be fighting for the things that I believed in against corruption, making America great again. And was everyone there forced to sign it? As far as I know, this was a fairly ubiqui ubiquitous document that um, not only employees like myself, but also um, independent contractors, volunteers who were not even paid, but just showed up to volunteer their time. And did that, was there some sort of pervasive culture of paranoia, did you feel, when you worked there? In retrospect, what I feel is that these NDAs created an environment where people like Camilo Sandoval, who wanted to commit abuses on other people felt like they could act with impunity and engage in illegal conduct and it would never see the light of day. And I see that in retrospect. So now what are you fighting for? Now what are you trying to do? Well, now what I'm doing, I fought this on it for a year on my own, actually, as a pro se litigant. And I, I, I got a very um, beautiful judgment from the state court judge saying that my claims could go forward in open court. Nonetheless, the campaign pursued this arbitration against me and recently obtained an award for $50,000. That You're I, supposed to pay them $50,000. I'm supposed to pay them $50,000, and I haven't even had my day in court yet. I am challenging it on all fronts. But beyond that, these NDAs are extremely dangerous. I think that we are in a very dangerous time in our country, and I think we need all hands on deck to, to 
um, confront the oppression and the lies that are coming out of who is supposed to be the leader of the free world on a daily basis. I think the supporters of this campaign should be among the most outraged that they've been taken for fools and used and um, their good will and good faith in this cause to, for American greatness and freedom. Um, these, these NDAs say that someone who signed them will have a lifetime of allegiance to everything related to Trump. That if they dare to do anything but praise and be a sycophant for this president, that they, their very livelihood will be threatened. This is, this is un-American. It's unconstitutional. I would say that the document is a ludicrous document, but my case is proof that they are being used in real ways to punish people with stories that the American people need to know now more than ever and before it's too late. We reached out to the Trump campaign uh, to see what their response to all of this was, and they did not give us an official statement. If you win this, everybody's NDAs could be lifted. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Jessica Denson, thank you very much for coming on New Day and telling us what you're fighting for. We, we have a crowd justice site set up. It's a very expensive fight. I'm one woman fighting this on my own right now, and any support would be great. Where can people find your crowd justice? It's at crowdjustice.com slash Denson v. Trump. Got it. Jessica, thank you. Thank you. Very God much. bless we'll you. It.